Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to talk about Robert Oberst. He's pissed. I'm going to get into all the details. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. Just fired up my computer. I'm looking to the post today. Um, Robert Oberst was, uh, for those of you not up to speed, strongman Robert Oberst was on the Joe Rogan podcast. And if you missed it, go over to the YouTube and check out Joe Rogan, Robert Oberst, Deadlift. Search that. You'll find it. You'll find about a billion videos on it as well. All right. So Robert Oberst was talking about the deadlift. I made a video about it a few days ago, but he is back. He is back. And I want to read to him. I want to read to you what he said, share some of my thoughts, and I want you to share your thoughts as well. Drop a comment down below. So here we go. It says, and this is from his Facebook page at robert.oberst.7. There must only be six others, and I guarantee they're not as strong as number seven, numero seven. All right, Robert says, everyone knows I'm loud. Well, I didn't know he was loud, so thanks for informing me. And everyone knows I'm not afraid to stand chest to chest. Well, I didn't know that, but thanks for informing me. And tell, and tell someone how I feel. Well, we're going to find out right now. I've earned everything I have the hard way and shed my fair share of blood on the climb. I can appreciate that. So anyone who wants to have words, I'm not hard to find. Looks like a threat. Looks like a defensive position. Looks like Robert's a little bit upset from the people that have differing opinions than he has. And he has every right to react the way he wants to react. I'm just reading what he said. I'm not hard to find. Those are all in caps locks. Aggressive caps locks, okay? I'm, I'm just being facetious here. I'm not trying to pick a fight with Robert. We all know I'd win. All right. The only people I see talking tra trash. Oh, no, he'd kick my ass. You know that. Uh, but he'd never hit an elderly man. The only people I see talking trash are the ones that are selling something. Nah, you know, I, I got to disagree there. I mean, let's just put on the brakes. Let's just call a spade a spade. Robert, that's a ridiculous statement. I'm sorry, you can dismantle me if you want, but that's a silly statement. It really, truly is. The only people that are talking trash are the ones that are selling something. Not, not true. Uh, dislike me already, that could potentially be true. Or they didn't even listen to what I said about the deadlift and are spouting nonsense based on clickback titles. I will agree with you there. A lot of people that are reacting are reacting to uh, hearsay conversations on the internet. Didn't really take time to process what you said, but you know what? Hey, that's the internet. Um, uh, you know, 50% of people are idiots and, and don't read anything. Don't, don't listen. I mean, on my YouTube channel, I'll say something and I'll get comments and you can tell people didn't even watch the damn video. They just reacted to the title because they jumped in with guns blazing, their swords drawn, not even, not even, uh, you know, having a chance, not even taking the opportunity to actually hear what my opinion is. But most people don't want to process things rationally. They just want to react like monkeys. So I, I definitely appreciate and respect what you're saying, Robert. I know how it is. All right. So um, the vote is in and, and it's been agreed upon that I was correct. Take your medicine and sit down or come see me. Uh, I'd be happy to fix your problem for you. I mean, you know what? I I, I just have. I, I'm going to be honest with you, and and, and Robert can uh, you know get all upset, and he can come see me. Uh, but you know what? It, it it doesn't need to degrade to this. I mean, the the chest thumping, the you know the the defensiveness, um, the you know. The fake bravado, you know, if you don't like what I have to say, come see me with the implication I'm going to kick your ass. Come on. That's stupid shit. It's juvenile shit. I'm going to call a spade a spade. Even though you'd probably kill me and dismantle me, just be a man and admit that's stupid shit, Robert. It's just, it's just stupid, all right? There's no need for that stuff. Um, we all know you could probably kill anybody you want. You're not going to do it uh, unless you really want to go to jail. All right, so, and then you'd probably kill people in there. Um, so anyway, I had some thoughts on I want to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, Robert was talking about the deadlift and how people don't, uh, you know, it's not uh, applicable for sport, um, which I agree with, uh, and that, you know, basically people should not do it uh, unless they're training for one rep max strength. Uh, I disagree. Um, you know, it, it's, uh, it's something that, it, it's uh, something that the average lifter, if they have their form 
uh, you know, pretty pretty well nailed down. They can do use they can use a moderately uh, uh, heavy weight relative to what he does, obviously, and it's a, it can be a pretty safe lift. Uh, the bench press is far more dangerous. I don't really think deadlifting 350 for sets of six um, or whatever is inherently that dangerous. But we can agree to disagree, okay? That's uh, that's what really this is all about. I'm going to continue to deadlift. I love it. I've never found it a particularly uh, um, dangerous exercise for me. But I do know that for a lot of people, it can be a dangerous exercise because they use it incorrectly. They go too heavy and they don't understand form. But I just want to share a few thoughts on uh, Robert Oberst's commentary. Uh, first, healthy conversations should be welcomed in a rational and intelligent society. Healthy conversations. Healthy conversations don't involve threats or chest beating. Healthy conversations when a man sits down with a man and they discuss things rationally, intelligently, without resorting to wanting to pound each other in the nutsack just because you might not necessarily agree. This is a very complex topic. It's not a black and white topic. Let's all agree on that. It's not a black and white subject. And to say it is, is rather foolish. Because of the intricacies involved in the subject, discussing deadlifts, various goals, uh, you know, various, um, uh, you know, I mean, various interests, various passions, all this kind of stuff, it's not black and white. So we should be free to discuss it rationally without threats. All right. Second point. Um, if you don't like it, tell me face to face. Obviously, in my opinion, it's a juvenile way of handling conversation. It is. And you know what? Um, you guys can agree or disagree with me. That's my opinion. That's my thoughts on it. Uh, number three, uh, most who are agreeing with him haven't analyzed what, what he said. Um, and I'm standing in Robert's, uh, you know, I'm agreeing with Robert here. Most of the people disagreeing with him haven't stopped to analyze what he said. I've seen these discussions on the internet. It's absolutely true. I live in that world. Uh, people react. A lot of people react. So he's absolutely right. Heavy deadlifts are rarely needed above 90%, yet I see people do it over and over again. I preach, don't train the deadlift above 90%. Don't, don't, don't. There's never any real good reason to do so unless you're on the platform, or unless you're competing like Robert. Uh, I, another point I want to make, and I just stated this before, I don't think deadlifts are that dangerous for the average lifter if they have a you know reasonable understanding of form and aren't trying to do too many low rep sets. Uh, deadlifts are still a great muscle builder. They're not the only muscle builder. Uh, if you're afraid of your form or, or getting lower back issues or spine issues, you can do trap bar deadlifts, or you can even do rack pulls from three to five inches above the ground. Those are a little bit better for the lower back. Um, and I mentioned rack pulls. I'm just looking at uh, uh, you know some of my notes. A big one here, you need to obsess about form. You need to obsess about form. If you do not, you really have no business doing the deadlift or for that any other really heavy compound movement because you're gonna end up beating the crap out, out of your body. Um, another point I wanna make is that you can, um, you can build plenty of muscle with a back muscle and trap muscle and yoke muscle without using the deadlift. I did not deadlift for 20 years. When I entered the bodybuilding realm, because bodybuilding was my passion, um, when I entered that realm, 1986, I really didn't find out about the deadlift till 2007. Built plenty of back muscle. I did. It, it really, you can do a lot with barbell rows, dumbbell rows, uh, seated cable rows, pull-ups, lat pull-downs. There's so many quality back exercises, so many quality trap exercises. You really don't need to use the deadlift to build muscle. I still think it's a fun exercise. And you know what? It's a little bit dangerous, but that's the nature of sport. That's the nature of strongman. That's the nature of football. That's the nature of me, this guy, doing endurance runs. There's inherent danger. That doesn't mean we shouldn't do things because when you push yourself, just like Robert is pushing himself, that's when you truly live. So we should not stop doing something because it has potential danger. We need to assess the risks, the dangers, see if there is a reward. And at the end of the day, it's for it's up to us to determine if the risk is worth it. Because sometimes we climb the motherfucking mountain just to get to the top, even if there's a risk of injury or death. All right. So, um, and again, Robert would made the point about 
uh, you know, uh, deadlifts not being used for sport. I can see that. That's absolutely true. I want you to understand, and I, as I conclude in this video, I'm not against Robert. I listened to what he said. I completely agree with what he said. I do not agree with how he is handling things to a certain degree on social media. The chest thumping, the threats, come see me, all that kind of good stuff. But for the most part, if you listen to what he says, it makes a lot of sense. At the end of the day, a lot of you are trying to process, should I do the deadlift? If you are just an average guy who wants to build a little bit of muscle and look better and improve his health and longevity, you probably don't need to do the deadlift. If you are somebody following my channel that is obsessed with power building and you want to get as big as strong as humanly possible, the deadlift is one of the best exercises you can do. It makes me feel good. I'm not going to lie. It makes me feel like a gorilla. I'm not going to lie. It makes me feel manly and full of testosterone. It makes my testicles swell up. You know what? That's, that's how I feel. No one can take that away from me. No one can tell me not to do the deadlift. I understand there's some risks, uh, risks involved, but you know what? I, I process those risks properly, uh, risks properly, and I respond to them properly by learning good form and helping to teach others good form. So I want to hear what you have to say about this topic and about Robert's reaction to what people are saying. Drop a comment down below. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.